Welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience. Our aim is to educate you so you can make a more informed purchasing decision and sprinkle in a little bit of fun along the way. On today's show, Ross Dunkerton is going to find out a little bit more about turbochargers thanks to United Fuel Injection. So the intercooler cools the charge air temperature. After it's come out of the turbocharger it's hot because it's been compressed. So the intercooler will cool it down denser air into the engine, better efficiency, better performance, all that sort of thing. Thanks to City Toyota, Alan Simons takes a spin in the brand new, completely redesigned Toyota Kluger. It's big, it's bold, and it's beautiful. It's Toyota's flagship Kluger. And I take a look at a great way to sell your car at We Want Your Wheels. Well, we Want Your Wheels has extensive experience within the automotive industry, which means you'll receive great customer service and the best possible price for your car every time. Today, our celebrity hitchhiker, thanks to City Toyota, is Joe Snell. Quickly, you realise that there's a lot of shows that happen that don't have the, the beauty of idea behind them like House Rules does. So fire up your grill, it's time for Zoom TV. It's big, it's bold, and it's beautiful. It's Toyota's flagship Kluger. Compared with the previous model, it's larger, it's better, and it's even cheaper. The new model Kluger has had a thorough overhaul. Seven seats are now standard. There are many improvements to the utility of the Kluger's interior, and these have been added without sacrificing comfort. There are more soft touch surfaces and the wide shelf that spans the lower dashboard is trimmed in soft plastic that stops your phones and other gadgets from sliding around. The shelf also sports a pass-through for iPod and phone charging cables. The centre console is huge. The front seats are wide and comfortable and the second and third rows are the same. Big doors make it easy to get in and out of and an adult can happily and comfortably be accommodated in the centre seat. There have been a lot of changes to Kluger this time around. It's a slightly bigger car when compared to its predecessor, and it has a, a bold new look. About the only thing that Toyota hasn't changed is the engine, and that's a good thing, because the 3.5-litre V6 petrol engine was so good, so successful, Toyota left it alone. It wasn't broke, so they didn't fix it. There is, however, a new gearbox. The six-speed automatic replaces the five-speed of the outgoing model. It's smooth through the gears and doesn't hunt through the range when negotiating hills. But no matter what terrain Kluger takes you through, you won't hear much of engine, wind or road noise. And that's because there's now 30% more sound deadening material on the floor, as well as an acoustic windscreen and revised engine mounts. One of the first things you'll notice is that the cabin remains blissfully quiet at speed. 2014 Kluger has received a whole new suspension system, which gives us great stability, especially for those passengers in the rear. And it also gives us excellent on-road comfort. A big part of Kluger's appeal is space. New Kluger is 80 millimetres longer and 15 millimetres wider than before. As a result, the luggage area has swelled thanks to an increase in rear overhang and the relocation of the seat mountings further forward. With the third row in place, there's 195 litres of cargo space, roughly one-third more than before. Third row down, the Kluger offers 529 litres, and with both second and third rows folded flat, there's 1,171 litres. The 2014 Toyota Kluger is a vastly improved and refined car when you compare it with its predecessor. Comfortable, quiet and packed with quality features. This car is so new it hasn't been rated by ANCAP as yet, but because it's a Toyota, it's expected to get the maximum five stars. Test drive all new Kluger at City Toyota, Newcastle Street, Northbridge or Stirling Highway, Netherlands. Go to citytoyota.net.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. 
you own something incredible that drives, flies or floats, then we want to hear about it and maybe even have you on the show. All you have to do is film a short video under two minutes long about your car, your motorbike, your four-wheel drive, your boat or your plane and tell us just what makes it so great. Then upload your video to YouTube and email the link to imazoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au. You and your car could feature on the show all around Australia. Plus, if you're the member of a motoring enthusiast club and you've got an event coming up, let us know about it and you never know, we might come along. Coming up after the break, Ross Duncan catches up with United Fuel Injection, the best place to get more talk out of your diesel. He's going to find out a little bit more about intercooled turbochargers. That's next on Zoom TV. Now, if you own a rig like this or similar, and many of us do, it's probably powered with a diesel turbo engine. And of course, those engines need to be serviced. But there is one part that we don't look at normally, and that's the intercooler. Now, the intercooler, of course, is a radiator that cools the air down before it goes into the engine for more performance. Now, the team here at United Fuel Injection know all about it. And today, Matt Craig is going to show us all the little loopholes in looking at an intercooler. Matt, the intercooler is something that people don't worry about because it's out of sight, out of mind, isn't it? It is. It's normally tucked in behind the bumper or it's on top of the engine. It's not something people pay a lot of attention to because it's there and they don't maybe don't understand what it does. Right. So the intercooler cools the charge air temperature after it's come out of the turbocharger, it's hot because it's been compressed. So the intercooler will cool it down denser air into the engine, better efficiency, better performance, all that sort of thing. Right, now if I've got an earlier model diesel that doesn't have an uh, intercooler on, you guys can fit it and what sort of added performance would we get? Yeah, we can fit intercoolers to most of the aftermarket turbo stuff or the factory turbo stuff, sometimes they don't have it. Yeah. It will increase your torque, normally increase your fuel economy, power, all that sort of thing. Just gets the engine efficiency up a bit. The cooler the air going in the engine, the higher the efficiency. Right, now with servicing it, you said you know, you're know you looking for leaks and that sort of stuff, but how do you pick it? Is there a noise? There can be a noise, um, or there can be a visible sign from oil leaking out of the crack. Intercoolers get oil in them just by a natural process that comes through the compressor cover into the intercooler, and you can see it leaking out. You can have a visual look. This one's, all the fins are damaged yep. because it hangs down under the car and has been damaged by rocks and gravel roads and stuff. So what sort of cost to replace something like that or repair it? Look, they can be sort of three to five hundred dollars for a replacement unit, you know, up to a thousand. Some of the bigger ones can be, you know, nine hundred to twelve hundred dollars as a replacement. Thanks, mate. No worries, Ross. Good. Well, that's the good oil from Matt Craig at United Fuel Injection. If you want to find out any more info, click on to zoomtv.com.au and follow the links to United Fuel Injection. I'm now joined by Shelley, one of the lucky winners of the Ian Diffin City Discount Tyres Performance Driving Day. Shelley, have you learnt much today? I have, very much so. How to push my car to its limit and myself. Good instruction, it was great. So, do you have a greater understanding of what your car can and can't do? Yes, very much so. And what about as a driver, what you probably didn't know and what you do know now? Oh, just where to brake, where to turn, you know, and get it all synchronised. Seem like you're very confident that you've actually come away with a bit more than you came in with. Yes, yes, I'd have. Yeah, I come in and I was a bit very nervous, and being the only girl as well in the course today, I felt a bit intimidated by some of the guys and some of the high-powered vehicles. Tell me about your car. It's a 2009 Cruze CDX model. Beautiful to drive, great on fuel, love how it handles. And what's your favourite feature? The colour. <laughs> you just love the colour, you I just love nabbed the it because of that. Yeah. I tell you what, how about you jump back in it and go and finish your training off and congratulations. Thank you. Looking for some fun events to do with things that fly, drive or float? Well, thanks to United Fuel Injection, here's some things you might want to check out. Take a trip back in time and style with the Cranksters Hot Rod Club's Hot Summer Nights 5. 
Open to all hot rods, customs and classics, built before 1978, it promises to be a great family event with plenty of activities for big and small kids alike. Entry is only $2, so get down to Lilac Hill Reserve in WA on Saturday 28th of February to check out all the action. If you're in Victoria and you love all things American, then this event is for you. Sunday the 1st of March sees the Born in the USA American Car and Motorcycle Show roll into Berlin to showcase the very best of American muscle and grunt. Check out all the bikes and cars for free with heaps of activities and live entertainment on the day. Starts at 9am. And if you're a Queenslander and you love your Aussie muscle, you're going to love this event. Sunday, 1st of March, celebrates good old Aussie muscle at Lakeside Park in Kowongba. You'll catch a huge range of Aussie-built cars with a cruise session, show and shine, and 1 8 mile drag races. $10 gets you in, and it all kicks off at 9 a.m. So there you go, some fun events to do with things that fly, drive and float thanks to United Fuel Injection, the only place to take your diesel to get more torque. Now if you've got an event coming up, go to the website, click on the events page, tell us about the event, we'll give it a plug, we may even come along. To find out more, go to zoomtv.com.au. Whether you're searching for a top quality new or pre-owned vehicle or a factory service with genuine Toyota parts, then City Toyota is your best option. Why? Because they're one of the most awarded Toyota dealers in Australia. And as a five-star customer service dealership, you can be sure the helpful and professional team at City Toyota will always find the right car for you at the right price with the best possible service. To find out more, go to citytoyota.net.au. What do you do if you want to sell a car, but you don't want to trade it in on a new one and you don't want to sell it privately? Well, after the break, thanks to We Want Your Wheels, I've got the answer. That's next on Zoom TV. Selling a car can be a hassle, and up until now, there's really only been two ways to do it. You can advertise and try and sell it yourself, or you can trade it in on your next new car. But what do you do if you don't want to buy a new car, you just want to get rid of the one you've got? Well, that's where wewantyourwheels.com.au will come to the rescue. They'll pay you a great price, and they'll make the process quick and easy. Let's face it, selling your car can be frustrating and sometimes it can be a fairly time consuming process. If you decide to sell your car privately, you have to take the time to advertise, meet potential buyers and then haggle about price. And even then, there's no guarantee of a sale. But at wewantyourwheels.com.au, the process is simple. You don't even have to leave your computer. They really do want your wheels. From the information you've provided, their expert team will assess your vehicle and provide you with a valuation. It starts online and finishes in one of their two locations, north of Perth in Wangara and south of Perth in Rockingham. The We Want Your Wheels website is what makes selling your car so easy. Simply enter your vehicle's details, submit your contact information, and a We Want Your Wheels team member will give you your valuation. It's that easy. Well, we Want Your Wheels has extensive experience within the automotive industry, which means you'll receive great customer service and the best possible price for your car every time. And when you're happy with the offer, the payment is made the same day to either you or your finance company. So avoid all the stress of selling your car privately or trading your car in. Get a great price with great service quick and easily at wewantyourwheels.com.au. It really is that simple. Parties are a great way to celebrate something. You can have a party to celebrate your birthday, your anniversary, your housewarming even. But what do you do if you're in the mood to celebrate pure driving pleasure? Or you need to throw yourself a Ford Fiesta Sport. The brand new Ford Fiesta Sport has just become available and as you'd expect has taken the concept of hot hatch to the next evolutionary level. In fact the term hot hatch seems a little old fashioned these days and here's why. First of all the Sport consists of some of the most exciting specs available from the new Fiesta range. I mean you have to agree it looks aggressive but also very sleek. Take a look at the front for example, that looks like an Aston Martin. So, you're going to feel like James Bond, the only thing is, you're going to have a bigger boot. 
John, the new Fiesta's here. I love it. What do you think of it? Well, first of all, have a look at it, Aaron. Isn't that just a great looking car? It is. It's growing up. Big thing about it is, it's got a one litre turbocharged motor. Now, not only is it extremely economical, but it produces more power than a 1.5 litre. The motor is that good that for two consecutive years it was voted the engine of the year in Europe. How's that? That's pretty special. The technology in cars these days is staggering and the big manufacturers like Ford are leading the charge. And not only in the way their award-winning economical engines work, but in the way each element integrates with another to make today's driving experience something we used to dream of. A few years ago, things like rain sensing wipers and automatic headlights were, well, a bit of a fantasy. But now in the all new Sport, you get that and more. You get Bluetooth connectivity, keyless entry, cruise control, all the safety you need and all the comfort you want. In terms of a driving experience, the Fiesta is, and I hate to say it, a bit like a party. It's very enthusiastic and energetic, thanks to the turbocharged one litre engine. And because of its small size, the handling is sharp and responsive. And you can choose the optional Ford PowerShift automatic transmission like the Fiesta in today. It gives you the option of being automatic, but then you can select the gear you want to be in like manual mode. And that is a lot of fun. The Fiesta Sport is also one of the safest small cars on the road with a five-star ANCAP safety rating and a long list of safety features like a whole host of airbags spread throughout the interior, dynamic stability control, ABS and EBD and a collapsible steering wheel column to protect the driver's legs and feet. The Ford Fiesta Sport is not for everybody, but for those of you interested in an incredibly economical, stylish and spirited driving experience, it's definitely worth your consideration. So if you're sick of boring cars and lethargic drives to work, then maybe it's time to start living things up a little bit with a Fiesta. To find out more, go to johnhughes.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Do you want to get more out of your diesel? Well, let the team at United Fuel Injection help you. They're the experts in diesel fuel injection, turbocharging and vehicle performance technologies. Make an appointment today and get more talk out of your diesel at unitedfuel.com.au. Up next, I catch up with this week's City Toyota celebrity hitchhiker, Joe Snell from House Rules. That's next on Zoom TV. Welcome back to Zoom TV. I'm now with a person who's becoming very well known across Australia. It's one of the critiquers of real life TV reality shows to do with renovating homes. One of the best house rules. Joe Snell, how are you? Very well. Nice to meet you, Aaron. Joe, it's nice to meet you as well. Thanks. I said it off camera, but I want to say it on camera because everyone deserves to know. That is a good head of hair. That's a great head of Thank hair. Thank you very much. Healthy, good root system. Yeah, good. <laughs> you've become, um, you've had a quick rise, yeah. but there's a bit of a story to you that I'd like to find out. How did you get involved in the show? Well, I'm an architect and that's what I do and I still do that and I have my own practice. One day I got an email from a fellow architect, uh, a really nice lady, and she sent me an email and she said, I know about this cast, you should go and do it, you'd be great at it. And I was like, I really respect this lady. And I thought, wow, that's out of the blue. And I went and did it and here I am. So. This is good. Did you think it would change your life or have the influence on your life that it's had? Quickly you realise that there's a lot of shows that happen that don't have the, the beauty of idea behind them like House Rules does and certainly they're not necessarily on a great network like Channel 7 yep. and they just don't have the power and like, you know, we're up to our third season, we're rating really well. I mean, I'm a lucky boy. And it's fair to say when uh, House Rules started, it took a little while for everyone to get their head around it, and oh, then yeah. boom. It was really stressful time, but I was so naive, I didn't understand, you know? So we opened like with 800 uh, on one night, the next night it was 700, the next night it was 600, and we were still in mid-filming. And I went to the, uh, the set on the weekend, and all the crew were head down, they were going like, nice knowing you, Joe. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you, we're finished. Yeah. But uh, Channel 7 believed in it, and they, really got behind it, put it on the encore and really got it going and uh, yeah, it just rose and rose and, and then people I think started to understand what it, what it was about. It's yeah. people's real homes and mm. that's the difference mm. um, and um, yeah, here we are, we're doing well. The Fast Five, are you ready for them? Yeah, yeah. First car you ever owned? 
It was actually, uh, I've got three boys, uh, well now, I only at the time I only had two, but it was a big car, it was a Ford Territory. Oh, there you go, mm. a petrol guzzler. Yes, but we've since downsized because we've moved into the denser part of Sydney and we can't fit such a big car, so now we had a Ford Focus. Okay. Yeah, it's a really good zippy car, I like it. Okay, what is your um, most favourite car that you see on the roads? What what car do you see and you go, I want that car? If I was going to own one, it would be like um, a 911, one of the old ones. White, it has to be white. Mm. And it's uh, like a, a 1980s Porsche. Moving yeah. forward to the next question, what is the car that you see and you go, I do not want it. See that car on the road again, I hope I never bump into it. That was a horrible car. Well, I think I'm sort of a bit damaged by the name of it, but it was called the Ford Probe. <laughs> You're not and damaged by the name of it, it actually looked like a probe. The story I heard was it was actually marketed at middle-aged women and for some reason the idea of it being called a probe was a good idea, Ford Probe. What is your biggest fear? So you mean not in to do with cars, just in life? Just in life? Oh, just the health and happiness of my kids. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, one thing about falling in love with someone and having babies is it makes you vulnerable because you really, really care. Yeah. And uh, I think the only thing that would ever stop, I mean, obviously I'm way too far down the track. I've done, I have a wife and three babies, but um, the only thing that would ever stop me uh, going down that path is knowing that I would be vulnerable by having those really important relationships. Wow, there you go. What a man, an architect with feeling. There you go. <laughs> and style when it comes yeah. down to it. Joe, thanks very much, mate, yeah. for coming on the show. All the best with the third season. I'm sure it's going Thank to you. blow all the Australians away with some of the things they come up with. All the best. Thank you, Aaron. And we're done. Now, before we go, if you'd like to know more about today's program, including the sponsors or our hot deals, go to zoomtv.com.au. And if you have an event coming up to do with things that fly, drive or float, we want to know about it. Go to the website, click on the events page, tell us about the event. We'll give it a plug. You never know, we might even come along. You just have to invite us. Until next week, bye for now. Thanks for watching. And remember, whatever you do that zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap. <laughs>